Bombadillo! What's up everybody, Destroyer here, welcome back to the Castle of the Rise of Witch King, past 2.2 version 7. Today we have a 1v1 on the Forts of Eisen from the November 1v1 tournament in 2017. And this, of course, is game two between the players Dread Reaper and MN... It's actually MNX Man. I looked after this, after the first game. That's what MN... It's MNX Man, I guess. So we'll just call him MN still, just because that's what it says. But I guess that's his name. And of course, we have Dread Reaper is Men of the West, and MN is Elves. So this is a... Uh, Different. It's going to be a different style of game, I'd imagine, from the first game. Go check out the first match if you didn't see that. It will be out before this one. But we have, of course, both players playing again on a different map this time. Ford Devizen doesn't have outposts. It has inns instead. So we don't have that. But that's a, that's a thing. Anyway, we have a barrack start going for red. This is red reaper, right? Yes, red reaper. Going for two barrack starting. In fact, interesting. And Emmett is going for a calf start. It seems from the green pasture. Which could be good. Could be bad. It really depends on how it's used and what red reaper decides to do with his starting units. I'd imagine a starting unit will be, in fact, Rohan Spear, and indeed it is. Mainly because, of course, there's so many warglers to creep and stuff. I would. It'd be wise to do so. And also that prepares him for a cap start as well. He does know his opponent's elves, of course, because 2.2 has revealed random, so you do know who your opponent is if they go random. I don't know if these are random teams, but I would expect they probably were. Maybe they weren't. Who knows? I don't actually know how it's working. <laughs> I just know it's I just know it's a tournament and people are in it. See who wins this match. If uh, if you haven't seen the first match by now, well then spoiler alert. Uh, of course, Dread Reaper won, and if Dread Reaper wins this one, that will be the end of any more advancement for MNX Man through the tournament. And Dread Reaper, of course, will advance. But will he though? I don't know. Looks like we do have Rivendell Lancers. Apt and about for MNX. I guess I could add the X to his name, why not? Eh? <laughs> sounds Sounds a little weirder. Or less weird maybe than saying MN. We got Gondor soldiers and Rohan Spearman out for Dread Reaper, who's getting more of said units. Nobody's thinking about creeping trolls or anything at the moment. Dread Reaper is sending some Gondor soldiers to the north. Always good to attack your enemy from multiple flanks. Go through multiple lanes, as they would call them often in, say, League of Legends. Going down different lanes is a, always a good thing to do. As, a, of course, you will see potentially any, of course, farms to destroy. Or if your enemy is going to attack you from that side, you'll see it coming. And your opponent will have to, of course... Defend from multiple angles, which is always nice for you. As you will be stretched thin. In fact, a lot of players have a tendency to clump move their troops. I'm very guilty of this myself, of course. Good players tend not to do it as much. They will select units and they'll just send them where they need to go. Instead of press Q attack move like I do. <laughs> That's my skill level. But... That will cause a lot of players to uh, have their whole army defending against like one unit, which is generally not pretty good. But good players tend not to do that, which is good because uh, it's not a good practice to have, of course. The Rivendell Lancers are not going to do too much, I'd imagine. He can. Oh, he's going to lose his builder here. I don't know how to start Ruby Builder. Lol. Then he's going to lose a tree. And Dread Reaper is going to claim this area for his own. He's also already expanding farms into it. So it could be, could be useful for him. The inn could be useful for both teams. We have uh, Lorian archers on the field, which will definitely help. But like I was saying... Oh, we have Haldir as well. Haldir of Lothlorien has arrived. 
intriguing. Well, that could help out. Although his economy is going to be ravaged. Like I was saying, though, all teams can benefit from the inn. Elves get spammable Rohan peasants, which are pretty useful. Actually, very useful, in fact. And of course, you get the Galadrim warriors for the men of the West, which are very good. Decent archers that can switch into bow mode. So, they're uh, always a good unit as well to have in your army if you want. Well, hopefully, MNX is getting his economy back because uh, he's going to need it. You want to try and get your farms back ASAP if you lose them. Otherwise, you will fall behind. Looks like his Lancers have been left to die here. Not trying to take a farm and not getting the farm either, which is unfortunate for him. That is a big setback. If you look at the current moments, we have 600 command points for Dread Reaper. Of course, he started. Uh, yeah, we have 350. He's now 400. So MNX man is a bit behind in the old command points and farms, just in general, of course. But that does not make him out of the match by any means. <laughs> he does have a hero, which the men of us do not. Now there will play an important role in the war yet to come. Although not in bow mode against a farm, he won't. Looks like Dread is also going north to take out some farms. And he might even just build their kill. And the next is not careful. Looks like the builder did get away. And Dread Reaper is free to expand in the north as well now. I should really clear them on the map instead of scrolling across the map. I hate that so much, but I do it all the time. It's just habit, really. I'm not going to stop now. Alright, we got Faramir. Captain of Gondor. To try and uh, counter this Haldir filth. Faramir will be very powerful, of course. His Wounding Arrow has a Splash Flea, Splash Fear ability now in version 7, so that will be very, uh, very powerful. Haldir, once he hits level 6, though, will get leadership, which will be very good. Faramir's leadership is at level 6 as well, but he's far off from that, of course. I think MNX man needs some pikes, pikes maybe. Well, at the moment he doesn't actually need me. But he doesn't know the enemy isn't going to have. And if he does go cav, it will be very painful for him, I feel like. Currently he's got Lordy Warriors and three battalions of archers and Haldir. That's not a bad army. Dread Reaper has far more, it looks like. And he's attacking from multiple fronts, of course, which is good. The whole of the army of MNX Man is right here. So he's going to be free to pick away his base. So he has broke off one battalion of troops, but will that be enough? I'm not so sure. How the music heard from level 6 though. We do have the Rally Call going down with the Elven Archers, which are going to destroy the Rohan Spearmen. And Faramir alone. Faramir does pretty well. It seems how there's melee damage is pretty wank. <laughs> and nail. But as we see here, Dread Reaper is taking advantage of the army of the Elves being away from his base. And has sent a massive force of dudes take out his economy once again, and potentially his infrastructure. And the next man is throwing up a floodgate to potentially save this, and maybe even this. I don't know the range. Probably won't Probably won't save that. I don't think it would reach these. It would be far too far if it did. But it'll definitely defend this green pasture here for him pretty nicely from any melee attacks, or just any attacks in the back in general. Close attacks, that is, of course. These are going to be easily attacked still. But it looks like he will defend this, this level 1 barracks. He's just sticking with level 1 stuff for now, which is probably wise. He doesn't have the economy really to fuel Mirkwoods or Noldors or anything of that nature. In fact, he doesn't really have an economy. <laughs> just at all. I think that's going to be the death of him if he's not careful. He's letting too many of his farms fall to Dread Reaver, who is, of course, also getting. Command points or power points for that. It's like we have Theoden taken to his feet, but he of course will provide leadership for the men of the West army. Since Faramir is nowhere near doing so. Not a bad choice. Theoden's not a particularly strong hero. 
But of course, he can give you experience if you want. It's level 4, and of course, once you get cavern healing, level 6, he is very good with his glorious charge. Looks like we have Aemer as well. I think Dread Reaper is planning on some cav action of some kind, judging by his hero choices. Because if you're going to go straight infantry, you're probably not going to be getting Aomer and Theoden. You're going to be going for Boromir or something. Or maybe that's the trick. Maybe he's not, but he's making his enemy think he's going to be going for Cav Zone. Clever. Maybe I'm giving him more, uh... <laughs> more than he deserves. As far as props goes to that, he very well just might be getting them because they're useful. Because they are. There is the wounding arrow there. We need to flee for a little bit. At least the fear isn't too long, but I mean, fear is fear. It is going to cause them to move. Floodgate. Very nice. And the next fighting next to his floodgate expansion. Very wise. Continually destroy these Gondor soldiers who get close. We have Aowen as well. Maybe his cab choice is his mounted heroes. Remounted heroes, kind of like a cab battalion, right? <laughs> not quite, but they also lift the floodgates pretty easily. They're not really phased by it too much. It's mostly a thing that affects groups of small units, not heroes. And this might be the end here for MNX Mad. Who, uh, doesn't seem to have an answer to this. In any way, shape, or form. We also have Hobbit Summon as well coming in. And I think at this point he is dead. Dunzo. <laughs> what else is he going to do, really? Is Haldir still alive? I don't even think he is. I think he talked. There we go. The fort has fallen into darkness. And with it, MNX Man. It seems as well. So that will be, of course, Red Reaper advancing to the next round of the tournament. Which would have already happened, but. Yeah. This is why he would have advanced, I suppose. But yeah. Well played, Red Reaper, definitely, in this one. He did, a, he did the right stuff. I think MNX may got two. Too focused. He didn't send troops through multiple fronts like Dread Reaper did. He didn't get his economy back quick enough, I think. He didn't defend it very well at all. And he also didn't harass very well in this one. I think he did better in the last game. But perhaps Elves just harder to play than Mordor. Who knows? <laughs> Unfortunate. Or his strategy, at least. I can't say the faction itself is harder to play. Why is he still alive? Why won't you die? Oh, he's doing the cheeky. I'm gonna move a barracks around. Yeah. You're dead, buddy. There <laughs> we go. Fast forward. He's quit out of the game. Good. There you go. Cool. Well, that was a definitely a shorter match, I think, than the last one. Driver Reaver had full control of that match for a majority of it, I'd say. So it was very... Uh, bit more one-sided in the last game, but uh, it was, was alright. I think MNX Man did alright for the beginning, but then he definitely got overwhelmed by Dread Reaper's ability to micromanage and multitask a little bit more so than his self, perhaps. So, yeah, well played to Dread Reaper, and of course, uh, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next cast, which will probably be another cast of this tournament, so expect that. Sometime soon. See you all next time.